Okay, fam, what I would like to do, I would like to skip over all of the, um, the, the blah, blah and get right into something that's going to benefit you, um, you know, right off the top. I felt it was very important to introduce to you the type, you know, uh, the camera, you know, the camera introduction. Also, it helped you to understand the difference between different cameras because uh, obviously if you're watching these videos, you're interested in shooting. So you're going to want to know, you know, what type of camera should I get to, why, and, you know, what's, what's the budget for it. So the whole thing, fam, is I would tell you that, first of all, any camera do. Any camera would work for what we're trying to do. But there, but there will be a difference. The difference is going to be in image quality. Yeah, image quality. Some, some image quality is going to be better than others. Now, I'm going to do a session where I'm going to shoot a video with my iPhone. I got an iPhone 4. And the quality of this HD is very powerful. So I'm going to shoot a video with that. I'm also going to do some video comparisons. I'm going to shoot some footage with the i4. I then I'm gonna shoot some footage with the T2i. Then I'm gonna shoot some footage with the um, with the Canon um, 5D Mark II, and we're gonna compare the images. And then I'm gonna show you the different ranges with those, and what you can do with with each of the footage that um, that I shot. And that that the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to help you to understand how you can use. Um, each the images that you um, gather for yourself no matter what the format is on you know what I'm saying um, so we're gonna do that that's gonna be in another module later on in these series but for right now what we're gonna do we're gonna concentrate on talking about the next important thing aside from buying a, ca a, a uh, camera now the first thing I would say as far as budget wise if you can afford the Canon 5D Mark III definitely get it that's very expensive uh, as far as what we're trying to do in this business but if you can do it get it is it necessary hecky no nah. is it worth buying because you got clientele out there that's paying you two three four thousand dollars a video if you don't have a clientele don't waste your money get a t2i now there's goods and bads about the t2i the bad about the t2i it's really reasonable. It's a very reasonable price. I started off with a T2i, but I had to move up, and there's reasons why. But uh, let, let's go to eBay real quick. eBay, and let's look up a T2i. And um, I'll kind of give you a rundown on what's the benefits of a T2i and what's not. The, the benefits of a T2i is you can buy it new for 580 You can buy it used, you know, from 460 Pretty cheap. You know, pretty pretty fair price. You can find a... Here's one for uh, $3.99. It come with a lens. That's pretty good. Now, this is this is what's good about it, fam. Here's another one, $3.99 with the, with the battery grip, 18 megapixel. Now, the benefits of this, fam, is that you can actually get this camera and get started making some money now. And how about this? Shooting $150 videos, shooting $200, $200 videos, $300 videos. That's cool. You can all you can get that. You can get that started. You can pay for the vid, You can pay for this camera in one video shoot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some of my. I'm going to put together um, a collage of my videos, and it's going to be a, a video reel. And I'm going to give you permission to use that as a marketing for yourself. Now, see, I'm not only going to be training you guys, but I'm going to put you guys out in the field. I'm going to try to push you to make some money. So I'm going to give you guys assignments, and I want you to go out there and land these, jo these jobs. Then I want you to come back, buy these cameras or whatever you're trying to do, get these cameras, and I'm going to walk. I'm gonna work with you hand and foot, shooting a video. You're going to know how to shoot it. You're going to know how to um, 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 shine it. You know, you're going to know how to light it, shine it. You're going to know how to light it, and I'm going to teach you how to edit. If I'm not editing it myself, I'm because I, I work a deal with a guy on another part, another side of the country where he shoot, I guide him how to shoot. He sent me the footage. I edit it, send it back, and we, boom, we good to go. He running a whole business based off of just that idea right there. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to teach y'all to do the same thing. So anyway, um, you can start off with a T2i. You can get it up and running, um, all the things that you need, the software. And I don't know if you guys seen all of my videos. Everything that I that you have seen me shoot, I've shot with a T2i and less. 
Um, so you can get gone. You can get up. You can get um, running and started. Running and started. You know what I'm saying. You can get up and started right now with the used T2I. My can my Canon was used. If you got the money, you know, spend the extra money. But anyway, I would suggest that you start off with the T2I. The downside of a T2I is cheap, but the downside is is this. Um, the uh, here, let me I look it up. Let me look it up real quick. The downside of it is this right here. This is a T2I. This monitor right here does not flip out. And sometimes if you need to shoot a really high scene or if you need to shoot a really low scene, you can't see the image. For this, you have to buy an adapter. This is an LCD um, HDMI uh, monitor for T2i. So I don't know. Let's see. Seven inch. Probably something like this. You're going to have to buy one of these type of things and plug it up here. This is a perfect example. Got to buy one of these. Matter of fact, this is the exact one I got for my T2i. Got to buy one of these and plug it up, and now you can move this around. It can be mobile. As you see, it's 179 So if you wanted to go out cheap, like I did, start off with the, the Canon by itself and add these different accessories to it later or save up the money and get the T3i. Let's look that up. T3i. And this is what you want, you, you'll you be interested in doing this. Now they got these, look, brand new, 557. They got some from 70, 76, that's body only. Um, this is 659, and they got a kit, kit lens. So this is a good, real good starter, starter offer. And what's cool about this is it actually does have a flip out back. So let's look that up real quick. Um, T3, I, I'm not going to do all of these like that because you guys can do your own research. I don't want to spend too much time on these tutorials. But um, anyway, this have a flip out, as you see here, and that's beneficial. It flips out. You can tilt it up, tilt it down. So if this is on the floor and you need to see it, my problem when I shot my first green screen videos, I had to back all the way up against the wall, and I couldn't see the image because this camera was backed against the wall. So I couldn't see behind it. So I kind of had, I, it was real complicated. I had to sit it against the wall. I had to hit record for a few seconds. Then I had to push it away, play it back. And it was just too much of a hassle. But with this, I could have pushed it all the way to the wall. I could have flipped the monitor out. Could have saw everything perfect. Let's go. Camera's rolling. Action. So that's the benefit of that. You may have to come out a little bit extra, but the benefits of that is the camera flip out. And the other benefit is that it don't get hot. See, this T2i, it gets hot fast because this monitor is heating up the camera. And it only gives you like 15 to 20 minute video shooting time before it starts getting hot. Now, if you shoot for three minutes, three, four minutes, and you cut it off and let it cool down, you should be able to do a whole three or four hour session without any issues. But if you constantly have it on and people, wait a minute, let me put on my makeup. Do my eyebrows look right? Do I need to shave? Can I die? Can, do, can you shine my teeth white? How do you make my teeth white instantly? Man, people are crazy, man. They be asking all kind of cuckoo questions. I can't to make you. I ain't no musician, man. I can't make you look the slicker than you look. You look how you look. Okay, I'm. Y'all got me tripping. Okay, so um. Anyway, so now the camera getting hot because everybody running around acting all retarded. So um. So that's where the benefits of something like this are coming handy. All right. Uh. Other than that, fam. Um. If you can afford the T3, I mean the 5D. Get it. We'll get into detail why later. All right. But um, just just a real quick rough draft. Let me show you something. Um, the difference between a T2i, T3i, and something like a 7D or a 5D is called a full frame sensor. So full frame DSR, uh, full frame DSR. Let's see if they might have some images on this so I can show you what's happening. Full frame. Um, maybe this might do the job for me. Okay, now here we go. Uh, full frame sensor is this. So, say for instance, if you buy a lens and you buy a 14 millimeter lens, which means wide, it means 14 millimeter means it's wide. The lower the millimeter, millimeter, the lower the millimeter, 
the wider the image, fam. And we're going to get into detail about this so you can understand what type of lenses to buy, why you need to buy them, and you can understand what's going on. You just ain't going to go out there and just buy any lens because it look good. No, you got to buy lens based on the millimeter and the f-stop. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now, full frame sensors, which is a 7D camera, which is I think is a thousand or so, and the five D camera, which is fourteen to sixteen to eighteen hundred, they all have full frames. Now the other cameras, they have cropped frames, which means you see right here, you see me going around the circle. This is considered crop, which means if you put a nice big wide fourteen millimeter lens on the 7D is going to show all of this. See all of this? You see the green? You see all of that? So if you got somebody standing back there, if you want to get oh just a wide angle, and all wide angles always look good because it look like real film. See, that's the characteristics of film because a lot of movies use wide angle lenses. You see what I'm saying? So it's important for you to buy a wide angle lens because you get that you, that 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 complements the look of the film look you're trying to get. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, crop sensor, you take that same lens. You bought a 14 millimeter, but because your camera is not a full frame sensor, it's going to crop it. You see? It's going to cut off all that fun. All this fun. All that fun right there. All that fun. Your wife over there in her little bikini. You don't get a chance to see it. Because the camera crop it off, which might be good for y'all, but not for me. I want to see my wife. So that's what the benefit, that's the difference found with the full frame and um, crop sensor. And that's what these cameras are. They are um, the T2i and the T3i is crop sensor. And the 7D, I think the 60D is too. Uh, I think the 60D is full frame. Let me see. This is full frame. So anyway, you, you see, you know, the crop factor and all that anyway. Anyway, I just kind of gave it to you in layman's terms. I, you know, I don't know the technical jabber of it, but you, you get you get the gist of it. I'm just trying to teach y'all the gist of it. So, um, but the 60D, 7D, and the 5D, Mark II and Mark III, do the full so you get more image out of it and it just look overall better got more megapixel it got the better resolution you know than than all the others so i would always recommend this is what i would recommend if you're on a tight budget i would recommend that you that you get you a t2i start off with a t2i then i would recommend that you use that t2i to up your money up your finances up your budget and save you enough to get you a 60D, a 7D, or ultimately a 5D. That's the ultimate goal, fam. The ultimate goal is to get you a 5D. At the end of the day, get your 5D, all right? But build up to it. And when you do an upgrade, don't sell your T2i. Keep it. Because later in the game, you're going to be wanting to use two cameras. I'll explain to you why later. But... That's the process, fam. You want to start off with a, you know, three, four hundred, five hundred dollar camera. You want to get you a nice quality lens, and then you're going to want to build your empire from that. Now we're going to move on to the next uh, module, and that's going to be the last module for the day. And then we're going to come in a day, another day or so, and I'm gonna finish up these sessions with you because I want you to walk through this step by step, and I want to review this stuff on you, and I want to cram all this information on you. So I want to get some reviews from you. I'm gonna be asking you things like, and you probably know, and I'll be grateful. I'll be grateful if you know, but I may I may ask you what's the benefits of the what's the difference between a can what's the benefits of a Canon over a Nikon what's What's the, what's the benefits of a Nikon over a Canon? And I want you to be able to tell me. Well, you know, according to popular uh, opinion, the Canon shoot, they take better pictures, but the Canon shoot better. Then I may ask you why. You see what I'm saying? Then you may have to tell me, well, because, you know, color reproduction and blah, blah, blah. See, those are the type of questions that I'm going to ask you because I want you to know when you go to the store, when you go to the Canon store, I want you to be educated. When you shop in, I want you to be educated. I want you to be educated. I want you to know what you're looking for. I don't want you to have to guess. You're going to know what you're looking for. You're going to know what lens you need. You're going to know why you need it. You're going to know what camera you need. You're going to know why you need it. You're going to know what microphone to use. You're going to know what tripod to use. You're going to know the type of lighting system to use and why you need it. 
All right. So let's move on to the last um, module for the day, and that's going to be lenses. Let's talk about that.